Zara cap and scarf. The material you'll be needing is Marco and satin fabric. You can make use of any fabric of your choice. Where you can get this Marco is from a cobbler. You can also use a very thick wording as well. I have black and green. I'll be using the black one for the cap while I'll be using the green one for the Zara scarf. Without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. The first tutorial that I'll be showing us is the Zara cap. My egg circumference is 23 inches. I'll be needing two inches seam allowance to sew the cap together. So the measurement that I have here is 25 inches by 23 inches. For the marker, the measurement that I have is 18 inches by 2.5 inches. The next thing I'm going to do is to fold the fabric into two like this. and notch the midpoint. And notch the midpoint. I'll do the same thing to the marker. I'm also going to fold the marker into two and notch the midpoint. I'm going to place the midpoint of the marker, making sure that it aligns together with the midpoint of the fabric. Then I'm going to fold in the fabric over the marker, just like this, making sure that I leave about half an inch seam allowance. to fold it inside like this. Then I'll sew it down. I'll also move to the end of the marco on one side. I'll sew a stretched stitch down. I'll move to the other side of the mark. I'll sew a straight stitch. I've sewn it. I've sewn a straight stitch after folding it inside with half an inch. Then I've also sewn the sides together as well. The next thing to do is to turn it like this. This is the positive side of the fabric. You will turn it like this. At this side, I'm going to measure about three inches. I'm going to curve from here to this place. Just like this. Then I'll cut it out. After cutting it, I'll take to my sewing machine and sew half an inch all through. I've sewn it with half an inch. Next is to do with my needle and thread. I'm going to sew loose stitches to form gathers.
I'm sewing loose stitches round to form gathers. The next thing to do is at the edge I'm going to lock my stitch after sewing it then you will turn it over to the positive side This is your Zara cap. You can decide to leave it plain like this, or you add stones or an applique to beautify it. Let's move to the Zara scarf. For the Zara scarf, the measurement of the Marco is 20 inches by 3 inches. Then for the satin material, you can make use of any length of your choice. The length that I'll be using is length 56 inches by 26 inches. The next thing I'm going to do is to fold the fabric into two and notch the midpoints. Next is to fold the marco into two as well and notch the midpoint. This is the negative side of the fabric. I'm going to place the marco on it. Then I'll use the fabric, then I'll use the fabric to fold over the marco just like we did with the cap. I'll leave about half an inch to fold it inside. I'll move to one end of the marco. I'll sew a straight stitch. I'll move to the other end of the marker and sew a straight stitch. After sewing straight stitch, then I'll fold it inward with about half an inch and sew it straight down. I've sewn it. As you can see, it is neatly sewn. The next thing to do is to fold the edge twice like this then i'll sew it down i'll fold the edge of this side twice also and sew it down i'll do the same thing on this side as well i'll fold it twice and sew it i've sewn the edges of the scarf As you can see, it is neatly sewn. Very easy to make. You can make as many as possible in different colors. You will fold it once to cover the stitches. Then you will tie it around the head. You may want to tie it twice. As you can see, it is very easy to make. You can leave it plain like this, or you will 
add an applique to beautify it or a stone as well if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so i upload weekly tutorial on my channel and also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified follow me on instagram at otis culture and also join our facebook group seamstress zone until i come your way please stay safe and remain blessed Bye.